Hello everyone and welcome back to I believe this is our sixth uh, part in our bathroom series. So now that we kind of have a cool looking table modeled up right here, <clears throat> we're going to want to add um, a sink. And actually these two uh, these two shelves could probably extend back a bit more to add more to the scene. Because especially if we have the camera sitting right here, it's going to look a little weird. So one cool thing about Blender 2.8 is you can edit multiple objects at the same time. So if I shift, so if I hit Alt A to deselect everything and I click one object and shift click another and then if I hit tab you'll notice both objects are in edit mode and this wasn't available in the uh, older versions of Blender this is something that uh, is new to 2.8 so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna select all these back faces and just kinda push them back and one, way, one easy way to do that is with wireframe so I'm gonna hit Alt A to deselect those faces I still had selected I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click on this dot to get this uh, this point of view right here on the X axis and we're gonna hit Z and we're gonna go into wireframe so now you can see all these uh, all the uh, vertices and stuff so I'm gonna come up here and hit vertex select and um, one cool thing about being in wireframe is you can mass select multiple objects so if we weren't in wireframe for example and we were just in solid if I hit B to go into box select and I click and drag I select these vertices, but you notice I didn't select all of them. I just selected the ones visible to the camera. So I'm going to again click on this dot to get into this view. I'm going to hit Alt A to deselect everything. And I'm going to hit Z, wireframe. So now if I hit B and then I drag and select all the, bot, all the uh, vertices, you'll notice I have all these edges selected. So now we can extend the drawer out of it. So this is going to be really easy. I'm going to click this dot to get back in the, the, the uh, side view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit G. And when you hit G, remember it's grab, so we can just move them around. But then I'm going to hit Y to lock it to the Y, and I'm just going to drag it out and line it up about to where the table ends against the wall. So if we go back over here, rotate our camera, and if we hit Tab to exit edit mode, and then Z, solid, I'm going to hit Alt-A to deselect everything. You notice our shelves now go all the way to the wall. So that's looking pretty good. Um, so now I'm going to make sure all these things are actually connected so that when we move the table we move every object. You'll notice if I hit this thing and I hit G it'll only move this table. And also in our last video we were using edge select. One, it's very important to turn this off so it isn't uh, affecting our models later, later on. So I'm going to click this magnet so we turn off uh, snapping mode for our, our various, or, uh, moving stuff. So. Anyways, we want to select all these objects and connect them. So I'm going to hit Alt A to deselect everything. And then I'm going to hit C, which is circular select. So whatever we mouse over and click, it'll select it. So I'm just kind of kind of drag it across all these objects, and they're all selected now. And I'm going to right click to turn off circle select. Um, you could also just click each object and then while holding shift. Um, but anyways, they're all connect. They're all uh, selected now. So now I'm going to hit Control J, and that joins them all together. And now it's one big table. So you see, if I move it around by hitting G, it'll just all kind of move together. So that's nice. Anyways, um, now that our table's connected together, um, we're going to want to make a nice little sink to go on top of it. So the sink's actually pretty easy, although it looks kind of complicated. Um, see, it's mainly the curvature that might be complicated, but we're going to use a, a modeling trick to kind of get around that and make it look really natural. So there's a couple ways you can do it. The way I'm doing it are, is kind of wasteful on uh, computer power. Um, there's definitely better ways you can do this, but in this case, it's not too big of a deal. So I'm going to hit Alt A to deselect, um, and what we need is a new object in our scene. So I'm going to hit Shift A, and then we're going to add in. I think we're fine with the cube, so we're going to add in another cube. We're going to tab into edit mode, hit S, and then scale it down. That looks good. Click, and then tab back out of edit mode by hitting Tab, drag it over. And then I'm going to use the side views again to get it into place. I'm going to drag it up. I'm going to click this green dot to rotate in the other view. That looks good. And you can see it's now on top of our table. Um, and again, if you need to get these arrows visible, you can just click this over here. So now that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it look kind of rectangular to match this uh, shaping right here. And then we're going to add the curvature. So we're going to tab into edit mode, and then I'm going to hit S, X, and scale it a bit. I'm going to hit S, Z, and scale it down a bit. Actually, we're not going to do that, because you'll notice if I hit S, Z, 
um, it'll shrink it in equally, but we just want to move the uh, top vertices down. So I'm going to click on this face select right here. I'm going to click the top face. I'm going to click on these arrows over here, and then we can just drag the face down. Make it nice and rectangular. Um, and this sinks a little big. We're going to hit A to select everything, S, and then Y or X to make it a little, little bit smaller. I think we can afford to drag this down a bit more. So that looks pretty good. Now what we want to do is you can kind of see how this sink kind of tapers at the bottom, so we need to shrink the bottom a bit. So I'm going to hit Alt-A to deselect everything, and then I'm going to hit Z and go into wireframe so we can see the bottom face. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to hit Z, go back into solid, and now if we scale it, you can see um, it's just scaling that bottom face. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit S and just scale it down a bit. And since it's just a plane, it, um, it's only affecting the uh, the X and the Y because there isn't a Z depth to it. So we're just going to scale it down a bit. That looks good. And this face still looks like it's a bit too high, so I'll just drag that down a little bit. I think that looks good. So I'm going to hit Tab to get out of edit mode. Now you'll notice this obviously looks very blocky. It doesn't look anything like this. But what we can do is we can add a modifier to basically smooth it out a bit. Um, but before we do that, we also want to make it um, go down a bit because it's a sink. So I have like a crevice in the center for the water to collect. So I'm going to hit tab, go back into edit mode. And what we need to do is we need to bring this face down a bit. So first, we need to add some supporting edges to make the rim of the bowl. So I'm going to hit I. And what that'll do is it'll inset the uh, face so we can add some geometry to it. So we're going to move this around a bit to about there by moving our mouse and we're going to click. And then now we have that geometry and then we're going to extrude it down to kind of cut a hole. So we're going to hit E and then by default it's locked to the Z. Um, so we're just going to move that down but you'll notice as we move it down it's kind of cutting out. So that's fine. We're going to bring it down a bit and then we're going to click. Um, and even though it's, uh, it's stretching out, what we can do is we can hit S and then scale it in. And you'll notice that once it's scaled in enough, it doesn't stick out anymore. So I'm going to hit Z and go to wireframe to kind of get a better view on that. And then I'm going to pull this down right here. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we're going to hit S and we're going to try to scale it so that these faces are mostly even. It doesn't have to be exact in 3D as long as it looks nice. So again, S, scale it a bit. We'll pull it down a little bit more and then scale it in a little bit more. And we're going to hit tab, get out of it, Z, solid. You can kind of see our bowls taking shape. So now that we have most of the supporting edges, um, looking at our reference, um, I think we should add a bit more supporting edges on the bottom so it kind of looks like it has a solid base. So we're going to tab back into edit mode and then I'm going to hit Alt A to deselect all the faces. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a loop cut right here by hitting Control R, clicking, and then dragging it down right there. And then I'm going to hit S to scale it in a bit, and then just a little bit. And you can kind of see now we have that solid base that I was talking about. So I'm going to hit Tab, get out of edit mode, and that looks pretty good. Now it obviously doesn't look actually it doesn't look good but it, you can see that we have the, we have the uh, basic shape taking place so so now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the modifier tab right here and we're going to add a modifier and we're going to add what's called subdivision surface now what this will do is it'll kind of smooth out everything by adding a bunch of geometry it's going to subdivide the faces so when we add this you'll notice it kind of is taking shape already it still doesn't look great but we're going to add some edges to kind of fix that so we're going to go to subdivisions right here, and we're going to bump this up to two, uh, maybe three. Yeah, we're going to do three because this has a lot of geometry on it. So what views does, it'll make it look, it'll add more geometry to make it look smoother um, in the in the actual viewport, and renders will make it look smoother in the actual render. So we're going to make sure views is at three, and then renders at three. And then you'll see all that new geometry it's making, and it's especially apparent if I go into wireframe, it adds a lot of geometry. Which, if you're making a video game, this wouldn't be the best thing. You'd want it to be kind of low poly, but in this case, it's not the end of the world. Even in a video game, this wouldn't be a problem as long as there wasn't a million of them. So, we're going to hit a Z and go back into solid view. And, but what we need to do is we need to make it look a little bit cleaner because it doesn't quite look like what I want out of the bowl. 
So we're going to tab into edit mode and you'll see that even though we have this modifier, we can still edit the basic geometry of the bowl. Um, and if I hit Alt A to deselect everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some edge loops that will, that will uh, make some harder surfaces out of this subdivision. So for example, um, if I hit Control R and then I put it on the outside face right here and I click, you'll notice that as I slide this up, it starts to add, um, it starts to make a harder surface of the uh, top of the bowl, if you can kind of see that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it up right around, not quite to the edge, but I'm just right right there and I'm going to click. And I'm going to do the same but on the inside of the bowl. So Control R, click, and I'm going to drag it up. And see how we have that hard surface on the top now compared to what it was before? Um, so now we're going to basically repeat that process but for the bottom. So I'm going to hit Control R, I'm going to drag that down, I'm going to hit Control R and I'm going to drag that up. And then if I tab out of edit mode you can kind of see the geometry uh, taking shape. Um, so I'm going to hit tab into edit mode and then I'm going to add a, a edge loop all around the uh, I can't really describe this, but like all around the center basically. So this will kind of make it look a bit more boxy. I'm actually going to add two of them, and you'll notice when I click, it makes it really boxy. Um, so let me just kind of double check here. So this might not be quite what we want. Eh, yeah, it looks fine. I'm actually going to control Z that, so don't do that. Uh, hit control Z to get rid of that if you placed it. Um, I'm just going to add one loop. Um, so I'm going to hit control R and then click. And then I think that looks pretty good. So you can see just by adding that one edge loop, we made it look really boxy. And just to kind of just don't you don't have to undo this, but notice if I add two edge loops and I and I can uh, uh, scale them out on the x-axis, you can make it look really boxy, but make it look smooth. It's kind of weird, but basically we're just going to stick with the one uh, edge loop to make it look a little bit more rectangular. Um, one thing though is I want it to be a bit more. Uh, I want it to have some sharper edges on the side. So what we need to do is, I'll just show you real quick in wireframe, we need to add a supporting loop for the bottom of the bowl. So I'm going to hit Z, solid, and then we're going to hit Control R and make sure we're on the inside of the bowl, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag it down. And you can kind of see it around here at the bottom. So I pull it down not quite to the bottom. You can see that right there. And if I double tap G, and I can slide it again. So I'm going to slide it down a bit. And now you can kind of see we have the shape of our bowl. Um, and the best part is this is all fake geometry. So if we want to, un if we want to, um, we still have all of it in the uh, edit mode. So if I turn this off, you can see it's still as boxy as ever, but it's this modifier right here really smooths it out. And to give it the final touches, we're going to come up here to object, make sure it's selected, of course. We're going to go object, shade smooth, and that looks like a really cool bowl. So kind of want it a bit close to the wall so I'm just going to drag it back a little bit that looks fine and there we go it looks pretty nice um, so now how much time do we have we have a couple more minutes we can I think I'll actually end the video here so we have a bowl now um, in the next video we're going to add a faucet and we might try to uh, clean up the uh, we're going to try to smooth out the actual boxes down here because uh, they might they look a little too sharp for what I want for the scene. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, um, and I hope this has kind of given you a better look into how cool you can make things look. And we haven't even got to texturing and shading and lighting yet. So um, thanks for watching, and please leave all your comments down below on if, how I can improve this or things that you liked or disliked. So thanks for watching.